Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Squid Game. Today we'll be watching episode 6 of season 1. I don't know what this means or how I am going to pronounce it, but I'm going to try my level best not to butcher it, but Ganbu? 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 Oh my god, like, I, I think I sound like a ridiculous uh, person saying this, but I have no idea what this means. All I know is this is the episode that has everyone talking about the show and sort of takes off from here. And on top of this, I have been requested by a patron um, to accept a challenge which can prove really tough apparently for this episode. So this is the try not to wipe your tears challenge that I'll be doing in addition to watching this episode. So I have to sit throughout this entire episode without touching my face, without covering my mouth or crying at all, using any tissues to wipe my tears. I should basically just like be a robot and just watch this episode and let it not like get me to cry. Because if I do cry, then I've lost the challenge. But if I do win the challenge, then that's that's a great thing. But yeah, this is a part of a challenge uh, thanks to a patron called Raymond. Thank you so much for this. I do accept your challenge. However, um, I would like to think that I would win this challenge because I know myself and I really have that competitive, uh, you know, sort of stance in me. But when it comes to like something that's emotional and getting me to cry, it's going to be very easy. So I am giving myself the benefit of the doubt and saying that I might try and do this. But if I don't win, well, that's just my normal nature. But if I do win and I'm not cried and I've managed to watch this episode without crying, I am not heartless. This is part of a challenge and this is me really sucking it in. And then I might just cry right after the episode. But yeah, that's my... Uh, try not to wipe tears uh, feedback that I would be giving just before the episode but let's see how this episode goes I don't know what way that it will um, sort of how do you say uh, I don't know I know what way it will really be tough I mean we know the the basis of the games and everything we know that people are dying if they are eliminated but how can it be like more tougher than that I'm not sure but let's see I'm very excited. I've gotten my tissues ooh, tissues ready just in case. Um, I'm, as I said, I'm going to try my level best to not cry. But no promises. Seriously, no promises. But yeah. Uh, but if I do win, I am not heartless. It's just part of a challenge. So yeah. Let's not wait any further. Let's crack right on to episode 6, which is the tail-breaking episode. And also let me know if I don't find out what the title means. Let me know in the comments what it means. This guy dies, I have no issues with it. My heart. Taro, listen. <laughs> He's growing on me, man. These two are growing on me. For a speaker, yes, a minor disturbance has taken place, but it is being addressed. No need to worry. I would suck on me. 자신과 함께 게임을 하기를 원하는 사람을 찾아 두 사람의 동의 하에 서로 악수를 하면 짝이 됩니다. <웃음> 내가 오빠가 시킨 건 뭐든지 다 할게. 내가 뭘 해줄 수 있는지 알면 깜짝 놀랄 걸. Oh God, lady, please. 줄다리 때 우리 다 죽을 뻔했어. 맞습니다. 하나님께서 아담의 갈비뼈로 하와를 만드신 뜻이 있어요. 하나님께서 주신 역할과 쓰임이 남자와 여자는 다른 겁니다. 평신제. 여기가 무슨 에덴 동산이야? 사원이 나랑 갈래. 나랑 같이 하자. 여기서 하는 게임들 결국 힘 쓰는 거 아니면 머리 쓰는 거야. 
너랑 나랑 둘이 같이 하면 웬만한 상대는 다 이길 수 있어. 오 갓! 이 도시 없으면 사람들이 자네를 우습게 볼 거야. 그럼 저런 꼰대들한테나 매달릴 거야? 음, 쪽팔리게? 쪽팔린 게 문제야? 난 무조건 이겨야 돼. 그럼 나랑 해. 내가 무조건 이기게 해줄 테니까. 무슨 수로? 무슨 수를 써서 돼. 그런데 무슨 게임을 할지 몰라서. 아 재지 말고 그냥 나랑 합시다. 이러다가 이놈 저놈 다 놓치고 나쁜 거 오래 할 때요. 남으면 저놈은 탈락이겠지. 아... 조금 좀 노인 내가 남겠네. 노! No! 영아님. 저랑 하실래요? 언니, 어? 나랑 하자. 씨발, 좆달리 새끼는 다 부러지야 말고. 우리 여자끼리 묻자 선물로 하자. 진짜 여자랑 그 사람에 언니 내가 좆달 사랑이야. 다, 다 어디 갔어요? 왜 아무도 없지? 나 아직 짝이 없는데. 내짝 어디 갔어요? 어? 누가 빼 돌렸지? 내 어디 짝을 깨 새끼들아. 내짝 어디냐 말하고. 알리, 긴장하지 마. 우리 둘 조합이면 무조건 이겨. 나도 형이랑 하니까 이길 것 같습니다. 그 이겨서 같이 나가자. 옛날에 이런 동네에서 살았어. <웃음> 저기요. 어릴때 이런 비슷한 골목에서 살았었습니다. 영감님, 이번엔 구슬치기인가 봐요. 저도 좀 합니다. <웃음> 아, 다행이네요. 또 힘쓰는 거 시키면 어쩌나 했는데. 이렇게 해서 뺐든가? <웃음> 예, 맞아요. 이렇게. 술을 <웃음> 가지고 지금 여러분의 옆에 있는 작과 시합을 벌여 상대의 붓을 열 개를 모두 따내는 사람이 승리합니다. What? 시작합니다. Wait, so you have 30 minutes to take marbles from your partner, so if you have 10 marbles, you win? 아니면 네가 내 대신 죽어주기로 다할 거야? What? 아니, 나 이런 거안 해봤지. 이거 어릴 때 꼰대들이 하던 게임이야. 게임 방법은 우리 마음대로 정해도 된다. 생각 좀 해볼게. 내손 안에 있는 구슬의 숫자가 홀수냐, 짝수냐 잘 생각해서 둘중 하나에 이 구슬 걸어. 내가 진짜로 니 부하로 보이냐? 개새끼가 죽고 싶나 이거. 어, 어떻게 죽일 건데? 폭력은 못 쓴대잖아. 이 귀여운 신새끼야. 싫어. 내가 뭐? 넌 남은 시간 동안 나랑 저러고 있고 싶냐? 넌날 그렇게 죽이고 싶냐? 어차피 우리 중에 하나는 여기서 죽어. 서로 무슨 얘기를 하든 다시 얼굴 보고 민망할 일은 없잖아. 선생님, 저 다른 사람이랑 하고 싶어요. 절대 없는 소리 하지 말고 빨리 줘. 당신이 여기 혹이 있어서 어차피 죽을 거라 상관할 수 있지 모르겠지만 난꼭 여기서 살아서 나가야 돼. 난 살아서 나가야 된다고. 슬슬이지 마. Oh God, I w o n 게임 바꾸게 줘. 그래야 공평하잖아. 니들이 여긴 평등한 곳이라며. 응? 인정합니다. 응? The one time that the red coats can talk. Francis, his, this guy, that guy doesn't deserve to live. So him to sit. Huh? Why? 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 네. 몇개 보셨어요? 구멍이 넣는 건 나도 좀 하는데. 어? 괜찮겠냐? 응? <웃음> I think these two idiots should die, by the way. 뭐 어디 가고 싶은 데라든지. 제주도. 뭐 하와이, 아니 올리브 정도는 가줘야지. 모이또도 한잔하고 <웃음> 여기서 나가면 나한테 남조선에서 겁나게 돈 쓰는 법좀 배워야겠다. <웃음> oh God, what do you mean once we're out of here? <웃음> 우리 
그다 죽어. 미안해요. 형, 우리 둘다살수 있는 방법 있어. 아, 와. 제발, 내말한 번만 믿고 도와줘. 어떻게 할 건데요? 내가 또 이겼네. 아, I do not think he understands the severity of the situation. Oh! 30분 안에 한 쪽이 꼭 구조로 다 따른 법은 없잖아. 이기고 지고 왔다 갔다 하다 보면 시간 내에 승부가 안 나는 팀이 분명 생길 거야. 그럼 어떻게 할 거야? 그 사람들 다 탈락시켜? 한 팀이 서로 구술을 합쳐서 다른 팀이랑 스무 개를 걸고 승부하는 거지. 오케이. 난 여기 오기 전에 좋은 사람 본적 있어? 어릴 때 우리 마을에 전염병이 놀았어. 그때 우리 할아버지, 할머니, 오빠까지. 학교 갔다 집에 돌아오니까 엄마가 방바닥에 누워서 죽어 있었어. 그 옆에 <웃음> 아버지란 인간이 칼을 들고 서 있었고. 근데 엄마를 죽인 날은 기도를 안 하더라. 저를 용서받지 못할 거 알았나? 내 계획을 들어보고 아니다 싶으면 거절해도 돼. 그럼 내가 그때는 남은 구슬 한 개를 너한테 그냥 줄게. 아직 승부가 안난 팀들 중에서 나이가 어린 팀이랑 나이가 많은 팀들 찾아봐. 다들 막판에 미친 놈들처럼 변할 텐데 무슨 일이 벌어질지 몰라. I don't trust him. 이거 잃어버리면 끝이야. 알지? I don't trust this guy. 그 인간이 남긴 빚 때문에 빚쟁인 줄 알았네. 갈 데가 없어서 온 거라 여기서 나가면 뭘 할지 생각을 못 해봤네. O M G. <웃음> you are lying. You have anything? 난 아무런 폭력도 쓴 적이 없어. 새벽이야. 좋다. 너는 성. 더 놀고 싶은데 나 구슬 하나만 빌려주면은 구슬이 하나 있었네. 다시 던져도 못 이겨. 참좀 아, 멋있게 좀 치게 해줘라. 혼자 계속 잡지 말고 다시 던지라고! 너는 여기서 나갈 이유가 있지만 너가 물어본 <웃음> 다음부터 계속 생각을 해봤거든. 아무리 생각해도 생각이 안 나. 어, 어디 있어? 이 나왔어. 뭐야? 아빠가 온 줄도 모르고 말이야 정신 차리라고요 정신 차리고 내 말씀 들으라고 정신 좀 차리라고 아 내가 이렇게 부탁할게 그 구슬 하나라 이걸 다 걸으라고요? 자네가 날 속이고 내 구슬 가져간 건 말이 되고 자네 거야 손가락 걸고 깐부 맺은 거. 괜찮아. 다 괜찮을 거야. 내 이름은 빌람이야. 
people like clearly lost the fucking challenge. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, I don't know how anyone could have watched that without crying, man. You know, it's just, I cannot believe that that Sangwoo can betray Ali like that. Like, come on. <sighs> I just, I, I, he truly deserved much better teammate than Sangu. I know everyone are playing for themselves, but the way he, I, I, I don't know how he's going to live his life knowing the guilt that will be eating him alive because of this rubbish. At least, even if Ali had to die, you could have done it honorably rather than manipulating him. It's like bad people like that snake guy, they get to live and the good ones always get to die. Like, what? Um, okay, the deaths that really got me is Ilam, Ji, Ji Young, and Ali. Hardcore. I also wonder what happened between that husband and wife, and also what happened to that lady um, at the start, the one who screams a lot. Like, was she eliminated, eliminated? She, like, overdone? I can't, okay. Um, clearly, Raymond, I have lost the challenge. Thank you so much for the challenge anyway. And um, it was, as I said, impossible for me to contain the tears because I knew that if there is anything to do with crying and with the way the show has been sort of uh, put forward, eventually we're going to reach the stage where everyone is going to have to play their own game. And... Um, it's sort of like survival the fittest but it's gonna hurt so damn much because you get so attached to their characters because they work as a big team and now they're like it's getting closer and close to the finish line but yeah I just I, it was horrible what's happened <sighs> I just only wish that Ali didn't die like that because you could see that he knew he was freaking betrayed and he was like he was just like counting he was counting the marbles and he was counting the people you know it, it, it resonates more because he was speaking Hindi and he is you know I, I know the actor he's I like I read about he's like an Indian actor who um went to south korea so it i don't know it hurts more thinking the fact that like you know he he's broadened like the how do you say the the diversity like i never thought that you know you could see an indian looking guy like a guy that looks like all of us indians could be represented in such a multi-diverse korean drama and that really like was such a nice thing to see and it was so, it was so pleasing to see his character and he was such a nice guy. You could see that he was so kind, so polite, so respectful. His family went to Pakistan and now his family will never know what happened to him. And, you know, to just see that he dies like this, being betrayed and his innocence, like, you know, it, this goes to show that being innocent and being kind to people can easily also mean that they can take advantage of your innocence and this just shows the true praise of like life like yes everyone are playing their own game but as i said even if ali had to die he could have died in a way where he knew he lost the game fair and square but 
for example like ji young and ji young knew that she had nothing to go back to and she voluntarily knew that if she loses the game at least she could find her partner could find like the place that you know to get the money to build that home to get her brother and her parents together and go to that uh, jeju island she knew that there was life for her after she gets through this game but ji young lost everything she has no one her father is dead her mother is dead there's no purpose to her life at least she i'm not saying that her life was meant made more sense or death made no i mean like the way it happened like she knew the consequences of losing and she still wanted to go ahead with it because she didn't think about herself she thought about her friend like the person who chose her to play the game with and at least if that happened that would have been like so touching like it would have i would have really been like okay yeah this makes so much sense like you know like there are like three aspects to these three different games you have one who knew was not going to like get anything out of winning 46 billion won and still voluntarily chose to let her friend live that's one and the second thing you see is ilam with his friend he, he was playing marbles and he knew he was lying despite his dementia but still wanted him to win because he knew that there is nothing left for him as well but the one thing that baffles me is the way sangwoo i can i when i saw him switching the bag like the the pouches i swear i thought that he was switching his pouch to ali's pouch but i didn't realize because it happened so quickly I didn't even pay for Oka's but I just saw him taking it out of his jacket. Um, oh. And Sangwoo did the same thing. When um when they were doing the the sugar challenge. <clears throat> I I I think you know in all sincerity if you're going to talk about teams I guess it doesn't work well if you're you're fighting for your life and you're playing for your life but if we are talking about teams and integrity I have lost all respect for Sangwoo Mind you he's he's playing the character very well everyone are playing their characters very well but I just wish Ali didn't get that death <clears> that <throat> the way he was betrayed like i just I, you know i uh, i don't know because i sort of like you know i understand and resonate with you know manipulation and you know you think something will happen and you expect it to happen and you do it so sincerely but then after that it just backfires on you and you're just like you 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 you're, you know you keep your expectations high and you know you have that good sort of trust level because you trust someone that they will keep up to their word but then they just like it meant nothing there is no honor like yeah in integrity is such a vital role i think in the subject of this episode and as i said bad people like that snake guy just somehow get to continue to live like somehow the luck the freaking smallest of the stone let his marble fall inside that 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 dent and he gets to live like why do such people get second third fourth chances you need like ali and jiang and ilam they all need like second fourth chance like third fourth chance at least ilam he's lived out his life he is happy he understood that like now it's time like and oh. and the fact that they were they were shot in the head like i know it's like clean and easy but oh god no but yeah i just 
I cannot believe Sangu. That's like my ugh, his betrayal is just baffles me sometimes. But rest in peace to the most wonderful characters ever. But yeah, um, I understand now why episode six was tear jerking because I somehow choked in that full segment. Oh God, I cannot be. Yeah. We'll see you guys in episode seven but um we're close to i think the end end i mean there are nine episodes i guess but so there are three more after this but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and well i freaking lost the challenge so that's great um well um even if i did win the challenge it would be more me being angry than anything and then the realization and the talking of it will start to trigger me to cry. So either way, I knew, I think I, knowing what this episode was, I would have cried either way. So I would have lost that challenge regardless. So I think it was a great challenge. It was a very fitting way to see whether it could test my, my senses of emotions. And it did. So yeah. Thank you so much again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Please don't forget to wear a mask and stay safe for your friends and family. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.